Okay, guys, I just followed that same thing where I made a shape, I placed an embedded object, I created a clipping mask for all 12 colors on my color wheel. Now, you could leave it like this. Um, I didn't do a very good job of making my shapes go all the way to the edge. You can see if you zoom in here that um, I have some black outlines because I didn't really... I wasn't too careful when I was making my demo, but you guys are going to be careful when you're making your demo and make sure your shapes go all the way to the edge of the um, canvas and all the way to meet the other color. So that way you don't have these lines in between. But you could leave it as a square if you'd like, um, but I'm going to show you how to make it into a circle. So the second tool is these marquee tools. You're going to right click and choose the elliptical mark marquee tool. And I'm going to just start over here in the top left hand corner and I'm going to click and drag. And you guys can see that it's going to make a circle. And I'm going to pull the circle so that the outline of it reaches all the way to the edges or even almost to the edges of my canvas. Then what I'm going to do now, so the, the middle is selected. So what I'm going to go up to do is go up to select and select inverse. So now the outside selected. And then I'm just going to go ahead over here on my layers palette. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, the first one is clicked. So if I was to delete just the first one, it would say you can't do that. So what I'm going to do is go over here and I'm going to click all of my layers. So I'm going to hit shift and then click all of them. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say merge layers. So now it's one background. Okay. So now I still have this selected and I'm going to delete the background. And on, when this pops up, I'm going to make sure it's white. So the background is going to be white. All right. And then I'm going to hit control D to deselect. And then go to view and you can clear your guides and there you have a color wheel made with 12 of your very own photos.